towards this B site for VP Prodigy. They've got one goal, and that's that invaders must die. Omen moving in, and oh, cheerful with the first. It's an omen, man. This is weird now. Apex, also the IGL, right? So with him getting this kind of a vision, it's kind of a spot. He's calling for the rotation back down and Lomic only good for the first, but that was the bomb spot. They don't know about Lapex who's so deep in the site. If he can get a couple, oh, there's one. One for Lapex, out from heaven, tag onto the other. And Aqua's gonna follow up Lapex nice. with two. And that is a wonderful little pistol from Big Omen Academy. Great stuff, great mid-round calling, great decision to change that. Oh, our monster. That org almost spotting. I think it's about to get the info. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah. oh, no, he's oh, not oh Nick! What the No, but entries. cheerful with the response. He's quickly disintegrated whatever little embers of hope were still burning for Big Omen Academy in this okay. round. And Lomit comes. Oh, man down for Big. And it's again this heavy monster setup. Yeah. Everyone here ready to go, ready to crossfire and uh, resalt with the first. Doubles up and hasn't even called for help. He might not need it. It's finally going to be pushed back. But being real, you know, the chance of finding much here pretty low. You're looking at Glaive to have a, an incredible round. Aqua is nigh on down and out. So there's one from Glaive. However, this bomb plant could just get denied right now. Cheerful misses that opportunity. And now Glaive and Aqua have got a chance in the two on three. This should not be a big Omen Academy round. And with Glaive falling, it is just a low HP Aqua on this orb left to make it happen. They're facing him, they swing him, and they don't give him the room. VP Prodigy will grab that second. Yeah, really nice call for VP, right? It would have been easy to overplay your hand at Monster after Resol gets a double. He goes down. And I feel like for a second, VP is considering, oh, let's repeak. Let's fully kill everyone on Monster. But they, they remember. With it being largely metal, Hugo, that would, it, they would really be dropping the ball at airports, yeah. I think, if they let you through. Oh, Aqua with the opener. Not even a. Uh, Suit of armor would have protected you from that one, Hugo. Oh, that took you a second, but you really came up yeah. with it, Harry. How did, you, <laughs> how did you do that one? Where did the, the armor come from? You're so wise. You're so original. And, well, big need to be on this T side. Five on three oh, now. Lomic. Lomic looking for picks. Can't get them. Forget it. It's a B hit. Aqua's run out. No flash needed. The round is already won. Double entry into the B bomb site. And Lomic looking to save. I'm not sure they're going to let him. Up connector comes one. Long. Already taken. Lomic's positions are going to be cut down, and maybe his life as well. They've spotted him. Yeah, they really want to take this orp away, and so they will. Big Omen Academy up onto. They're daring for some dairy right now, but no one going through the smoke. Oh, Lomic flashed in. That's one. They don't know about how many more sit inside as well. There's a nice gap in that smoke for Lapex to take, but Bloody still here as said. Lomic's providing pressure and Bloody gets caught. So the info is now here, big. No, there may be many more where once was. Only one. Down B. Bye bye. Oh, oh. Escaping. He the shot the shotgun with the Oh, the result, yes, baby. Come on. Oh, traded after that by Aqua. Winnable. And if there was one guy left in a clutch you don't want to go up against is this guy. It's Aqua. He does have the orb. Looks determined, but there is already a player here. Oh. Made lots of damage onto Lomic. However, now you've got to hit the shot <laughs> and he can't manage it. The round. And a very important T side round when it comes to the money. Yeah, and it always comes back to the money at some point. Cheerful with the opener. And this is likely going to cause Big Omen Academy to really slow this down, right? They're, they're slow enough when they're getting the openers. So, Prime Taps will try to re aggro over at short and commit. They don't want them to save. So, they're welcoming Big into their bomb site. But not oh, with open arms. Yeah, Rufi going to keep it in the advantage of EP Prodigy. And for Nick, he promised us a good game after that DC. However,. This 1v4 is not death. Heavy monster setups on the B plays. Now a triple A on another A attack. It's a good call for VP, but it is very quiet out B. It's no surprise. One man at long dead. Rufi, they don't expect the second player, and so he gets a trade. 
Fire would be the guy in Cheerful's position right now because when you deal with Cheerful, you learn that there's still a player lost to Long. And this is something the Big Omen Academy are now ready for. They should be considering Rufire in this position. They flash him off the angle, and that there is them. You've got Rufire there and not Cheerful. So, yeah, it's just a, a lack of info there for BP. Even starting to move players back through spawn. They are grouping for this lower site. Lomig has taken down Lapex on short, so that's huge. As I said, the five on four is in. Big still have to commit. They've got everyone here at 25 on the clock. They've got to go. Double monster setup. Great flashback. And they find both entries. Glaive covering that left side. And that's what Big have been so good at ever since that round where they got mowed down in monster. They've been, you know, not not letting VP get multi-kills down there ever since. Wall through the molly? No, it's not going to work. Lomic has to give it up, and the wallbang will not connect. Going over the top is his opponent, hunting him down in the pit, leaving Bloody in a one-on-two that he just can't convert. Out of there. So you've at least got him for a five-on-five -five retake, but this is weird. This is not what you want if you're Big Omen Academy. They're going to group up. Everyone coming out through the dumpster and through bank, trying to flood down these players oh. up close. The doolies. They had a chance, but now flooding onto these USPs of the Glocks. And Aqua, he's fully surrounded. Oh. There he is, put in the dirt. On the CT side, if he'll be running it. Right now, Glaive scouts. We have triple B, VP are contacting it. Yeah, they pounce out the oh. Molly, forcing the barrels player out of position. Oh. And all these entries go in the way of Bloody. This is what this guy excels at, is creating this sort of space for his team. Now, he's not able to get past Prime Taps, but his teammates might have a better run of it. There's the trade. The B site now locked in. Big Omen Academy left with a decision to either try and make this costly or just save. The late Molly comes in. That does a pretty good job of displacing the setup. Bloody on the entries, as always. Quite the capable foe. Nice shot for Lapex. Maybe a gun here. And so, big, they're happy with that round. They're going to inherit that from Lapex. And he's here to help out with the B site hold. He's going to be needed. There's Nick Steagle. Good thing that Lapex dropped that over because it's netted the opening kill for Big Omen Academy. Now, the question's got to be asked. Can this get out of hand? Lapex from short surprises them with the Galil. And the alarm bells are going off for VP Prodigy. They're starting to get anxious that this is a B stack. Not even really the case. It is four players here now, but it wasn't from the get-go. And they're rushing down the monster players. That's the bomb. Big Omen Academy, they were not meant to win this round, and they'll walk away with it flawless. Oh, the rage. Time was the rage. That's uh, one way to throw the monster smoke. It means you don't have to give up your spawn for it. You can still head towards middle. Oh dear, well, out in middle is Lomig. Away from the orb and in with the rifle, he's going to get that first. Lapex dead in party. Prime Tap's now forced down the connector. Does have the orb on middle. He had to win that fight. Now, bigger in hot water. And the hotter the water, the tastier the stew. Yeah, I can get behind that. It's the big hot pot and VP are hungry. They've got two kills on Big Omen Academy so far. There's one out of Nick, but all out of Aqua doesn't realize oh, they're past they it, they're out. in bank, they're in bank, and he's blindsided you. by Lomic. Glaved, welcome to the party, welcome to this A site. It's pretty hostile, it's pretty unfriendly, and with a CT post plant lined up for VP Prodigy, a retake in this round is very... Big can drop guns over, right? They've still got plenty of money. That's a pendulum reference. Oh, okay. Not witchcraft, Hugo. That's also a pendulum reference. Here we go. Prime taps with the kill over oh. in toilets. Lomic on the receiving end. Wrapping through long is Lapex, and he gets a freebie. Now there is another man in party, and Bloody's going to get the trade. Now dropping into toilets. The rest of the gang trying to get out into B. The bomb is all the way back in T spawn, though. So oh. someone's got to get it, and that guy is Bloody, meaning Resalt is the space creator. <gasps> oh, he's been seen. He's been oh, seen. Glaive. Space creator, more like. And so, yeah, the mathematicians, they may be smiling right now, but so are big. 12 to 10. Another concise round. In the close sight, he might have to go over default to get that information. Still grabbing it where he can. Bit of a gap. 
How do you use a connector? Oh, but it's a flink back for Aqua. He lives to tell the tale. Oh, there's many more where that came from. Yeah. You've got to have your wits about you. He's getting pressured and he's going to crumble under it. Cheerful might be low, but it's still a four on four. And we know that numbers can sometimes be enough in and of itself. Ooh, little oh, tag oh, onto the AWP. Glaive getting some damage off on this AWP. Only going to soften up these targets more for Lapex and Prime Taps. They've got this crossfire. There's the first. The attention peeled away. And Lapex lining up another multi kill. Oh. They know that Prime Taps is here, though. They're low. Oh. He's low. Everyone's low. And Lomic is going to steal the Nick. kill. Nick, 1v2. This is oh. your chance. And Lomic lays him to rest. Five and eight. And that's kind of what you want if you're Big Omen Academy. A contact long play here would have been a disaster, but instead, your AWP is given a chance to fight. Now with him getting that kill, Lapex is even less expected. However, he finds himself trapped between long and con. That's not really a push we needed out of Lapex at that point in time. Will that prove to cause problems later down the line for Big Omen Academy? The A play now coming in. Glaive not missing a beat on this orb and Prime taps him with a dink, but not quite the double. He has softened them up and Nick is going to claim four out for long. And that's where only one player sits faking it out. Lomic with the orb. He really wants a peek to come his way. Glaive's going to give it and Lomic takes the kill on the A site. So now it's down to that B explosion. And with that one kill for Lomic, it's sold so much of a fake. There's still mid control here for big. If Lomic tries to join his team and rotate, he's a dead man. Aqua so close, he's going to disallow it. Meanwhile, B is free, right? You can see VP walking through Aqua. He's trying to find out where Lomic's going, and he just takes the kill while he has it. Four on three, VP in the B bomb site, and a retake to decide it all. Bomb's not down yet. Oh, oh the timing on that destroy. bomb pull, man. That's so rough. He holds it for an eternity. It's just bloody left. And no. they hound him down. That is devastating. Counter-Strike 101. You can hold an angle for an eternity. The moment that you take your eyes off.